It's colorless, odorless, tasteless. It's invisible to all the human senses, but it has the power to seriously injure and even kill. Once exposed to carbon monoxide, it seeps into your lungs with every breath you take, making its deadly way into the air sacs of your lungs, where it binds with hemoglobin, the red blood cells that carry oxygen through your body. The problem is carbon monoxide latches on to hemoglobin more quickly than oxygen, and it starts taking over. On the most basic of levels, your cells are literally suffocating. Within minutes, a person can feel flu symptoms, such as headaches, sore eyes, and a runny nose. Once it attaches to 10 to 15 percent of the blood's hemoglobin, you feel dizzy, confused, and achy. At 30 to 40 percent, a person becomes drowsy, lethargic, and slips into a coma. At 60 to 70 percent, it's fatal. According to the CDC, about 500 people die each year from accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. Nearly 2,000 people commit suicide using the gas, often by inhaling car fumes. Recovery can be as simple as getting away from carbon monoxide sources or as complicated as using a hyperbaric chamber to force pressurized oxygen into the body to fight poisoning. It's hard to predict how much each person will be affected by carbon monoxide. It all depends on how much is in the air, how long, and how hard someone breathes it in.